students today's point of discussion is formation of sf6 molecule that is sulfur hexafluoride remember sf6 is an excellent example of sp3 d2 hybridization right here central atom sulfur undergoes sp3 d2 hybridization now what sp3 d2 hybridization is exactly it is the process of mixing and redistribution of 1s 3p and 2d orbitals of valence shell of same atom now as 6 uh, <coughs> atomic orbitals are involved in the process of hybridization the newly formed hybrid orbitals by number will be also 6 and remember every hybrid orbital is named as sp3 d2 hybrid orbital now let's discuss the formation of sf6 and remember now if six hybrid orbitals are formed during the course of hybridization we know very well that hybrid orbitals try to settle away from each other in order to avoid mutual repulsion these six hybrid orbitals uh, are arranged in octahedral manner i mean are arranged octahedrally around the uh, central atom so the resulting molecule will have the geometry octahedral thus let's discuss the formation of sf6 molecule in this case central atom is sulfur whose atomic number is 16 and its electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p4 that is 3px2 3py1 3pz1 and ultimately 3d0 now this happens to be the valence shell electronic configuration of sulfur so valence shell valence shell electronic configuration of sulfur can be 3s2 3px2 3py1 3pz1 3d0 that is 3d xy0 3d yz0 3d zx0 3d x square minus y square zero and 3d z square zero now box diagrams which can be drawn for this each in this manner this is the box diagram in i mean for sulfur in ground state so in this manner one can draw the box diagram now <coughs> we know that very first step involved in the process of hybridization is formation of excited state if possible right here d orbital is vacant in case of sulfur and uh, px 3px and 3s orbitals which happens to be lower energy orbitals and these are fully filled i mean these two orbitals contain two electrons each so sulfur undergo excitation by transferring electrons from px to 3dx1 and uh, from 3s orbital to the 3d yz thus the excited state electronic configuration excited state electronic configuration of sulfur can be 3s1 3px1 3py1 3pz1 3dxy1 3dyz1 3d zx0 3d x square minus y square 0 and 3d z square 0 now box diagram can be shown in this manner so this is the box diagram for the excited state electronic configuration of what sulfur now one can draw in this manner now in excited state sulfur has six unpaired electrons in the valence shell now during the formation of sf6 
सल्फर अंडर गो एस पी थ्री डी टू हाइब्रिडाइजेशन बाई मिक्सिंग वन एस थ्री पी एंड टू डी ऑर्बिटल सो दीज आर द एटोमिक ऑर्बिटल्स विच टेक पार्ट इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ हाइब्रिडाइजेशन एंड रिमेंबर ईच एंड एवरी एटोमिक ऑर्बिटल वॉट एवर टेकिंग पार्ट इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ हाइब्रिडाइजेशन कंटेन आर पेड इलेक्ट्रॉन दस द न्यूली फॉर्म हाइब्रिड ऑर्बिटल्स विल हैव अनपेड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स also so what happens exactly six <coughs> sp3 d2 hybrid orbitals are formed in the process of hybridization and these six hybrid orbitals are arranged in octahedral manner like this so arranged octahedrally around the central atom sulfur like this so these are supposed to be the hybrid orbitals and remember Each angle is of 90. Now it's turn for fluorine. We know very well atomic number of fluorine is nine. Its electronic configuration is one s two, two s two, two p five. That is two p x two, two p y two, and two p z one. So this is valence shell, and in valence shell, two p z orbital contains unpaired electron. So six fluorine atoms along with what six fluorine atoms. Along with <coughs> half-filled p-z orbital, come closer to the sulfur and overlap with the sp3 d2 hybrid orbitals of sulfur, and that lead to the formation of six s-f bonds, and which lead to the formation of sf6 molecule. Now, bond angle of f-s-f, f. -S -F, f S F bond angle is found to be 90 degree, and the geometry of SF6 molecule is octahedral. So in this way, sulfur hexafluoride molecule is formed. Thank you very much.